everyone! In this video, we're going to learn how to set up your greetings for your voicemail. There are three types of recorded greetings. Text to greetings, recording from your phone, and uploading your own greeting. There are many uses for greetings, for voicemails, menus, custom hold music, and ringing tones. In this video, we're just going to go over voicemails. So let's get started. I've gone ahead and logged into my phone.com account. This is the screen that you're going to see when you are initially logged in. What you see right here is the control panel. You can pretty much use, go to all the functions that phone.com has through this area right here. However, to record a greeting, you need to go to configure and add a greeting. So I'm going to go over all three, text to greeting, recording from your phone, and uploading a new file. So let's start with text to greeting. I recommend that you always nickname your greetings as it will be easier for you to reference them in the future. So this one I'm going to set it up as Karen's voicemail. I'm going to send it to restrict it to just the default extension. And I already clicked on the text to greeting. You'll see the text box is opened. So here's where you'll, you'll type your greeting. So I'm going to write something simple. Can't come to the phone. Please leave a message. You want to be mindful of your punctuation here as that dictates how the computer is going to read your sentences. If you want a longer pause between your sentences, I would add a couple more periods between and then it'll pause and then move on to the next sentence. If you don't have a te uh, if you don't have a script, you can always use one of our templates here. Once you're done with your script, you would then select a voice. I'm going to go ahead and pick Allison. Hi, my name is Allison. Now you can also preview Allison's voice to reading your message by clicking the preview button. Once you're done with that, you can also pick sounds like the clapping sound, a kissing sound, a monkey noise. I'm going to keep it really simple and just save that greeting as is. Now you'll see that it's moved to your manage greetings under here. We want to add another greeting, so let's go back to add a greeting. And let's set this one for Jill's voicemail. We're going to record from your phone. You're going to click that button and then you're going to click this link here. You're going to enter your phone number and phone.com will call you so that you can record. So. I'm going to follow the prompts. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. And pound. Keep this greeting. Press one. To replay this greeting, a recording has now been saved and is available within your control panel. You may now hang up or press one to start a new recording. So I'm going to hang up and press close and then save that greeting. So you'll see that voicemail that was recorded from my phone is now also under Manage Greetings. And this is why nicknaming your greetings is so important. We're going to add one more. I'm going to add a greeting. We'll say this is Joe's greeting. Um, well, you know what? Let's do general greeting. General voicemail to all and upload a new file. You would then choose a file from your computer. I don't know what I've got. Uh, I don't think I have any sounds, but you would just choose your file and then upload it and save your greeting. Since I don't have anything here, that's all I can do. Um, so let me just go back to manage greetings then. So if I did have a file, it would show up on the bottom here as general, general voicemail. Now you always have to, you must always attach your greetings to an extension to be sure that the voicemail plays. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to go to configure and manage users and extensions. I only have one extension here and it's the default extension so it's right here and you're going to go and click on edit. 
Then you would scroll down so you see the voicemail section right here and click on standard greeting. Under the standard greeting you drop down, you'll see the greetings that you've recorded. So I have Karen's voicemail, and then you can preview it. And then if you want to add an alternate greeting, um, in case you want to direct that phone call to someplace else, you can choose that. Here you would choose between leaving a message prompt or not. Um, I'm not going to because in my greetings I told the person to leave a message already, so we're going to leave that. And this is your voicemail password. We're going to skip over uh, voicemail transcription and then right here, voicemail notification settings. If you want to get an email or a text message when you, whenever you get a voicemail, you click on these two buttons and then, so let's say I want, I want it to send me a text message, so I click on that and then you would save changes. And now your, greet, your voicemail greeting is attached to your extension. And that's how you set up um, greetings for your voicemail. Oops, I'm sorry. So if you have any questions or need any further assistance, please feel free to reach out to our phone.com customer support team by phone, email, or live chat on our website at www.phone.com. Thanks for your time.